Welcome back. The new book, Psychomoralytics, The Soul Deep Alternative to the Failed Mental Health Professions. Psychomoralytics. Why this newfangled term? It is because psychomoralytics is the true psychology, that is, the true science of the soul. However, psychology, that term, as well as psychiatry, or the treatment of the soul, has been co-opted by the mental health system. That mental health system does not recognize the soul. Indeed, the mental health conceptualization reduces the human person down to a soulless entity. A person merely made up of his physiology. So, though the mental health system has co-opted the term psychology and psychiatry, the mental health system does not recognize nor treat the true essence of the human person. In short, you could say the mental health system has stolen the soul. The psychomoralytics is the true psychology, the true science of the soul. Indeed, psychomoralytics is, by definition, the soul deep science of human flourishing and essential well-being. Psychomoralytics intervenes in the deepest recesses of the human person. Those recesses that make the human person human. His specific difference. His reason, his volition, his passions. Where a person ascends the truth, chooses the good, where a person loves, where a person garners the courage to live fully. This is what psychomoralytics treats. And again, unlike the mental health system and its false psychology, its false psychiatry, that not only does it recognize the soul, but because of its non-recognition, actually does damage to the soul, to the essential nature of the human person. And thus exacerbating not only malbeing and eager activity, but the very disorders it seeks to alleviate. So psychomoralytics is the answer to the failed mental health professions. And not only is it the answer, but it is the antidote that will remedy the ills that those mental health professions actually perpetrate. Psychomoralytics explicates fully the nature of the human person in a scientific, systematic manner. Unlike the mental health professions, which are haphazard conglomerations of symptomology that are actually diagnoses that are voted on by committee, Unlike this unscientific psycho, psychology and psych psychiatry of the mental health professions, psychomoralytics is the scientific answer. Psychomoralytics not only explicates what the true root of human malbeing and eager activity is, but it also provides the way to treat this malbeing and eager activity. So I encourage you to look at psychomoralytics, read it with an open mind, but a critical one. Because this book, and psychomoralytics itself, can stand up to scrutiny, can stand up to the scientific model, can stand up to philosophical inquiry, and can also stand up to the test of time and its efficacy and the good it does. Thank you very much and may peace be with you.